right? Today's Tuesday and I feel like the, the poop hit the fan around, hey Lori, um, the poop hit the fan about last Wednesday and I, uh, two things happened. Okay, my first reaction was, I, I need to help. I want to help. What can I do to help? And I reacted from my, from my core, from my heart, and I started the children's meditations right away, right? Um, the children's meditations, and then I also did some adult meditations, and I just feel um, that in the midst of this, you know chaos and things that are happening and in the midst of worrying you know because we are in unchartered territory right um but i've always been that kind of person that when oh that's so funny that i have lemons here i didn't bring them upstairs on purpose but here are the lemons and when life has given me lemons i've always figured out a way to make things better right and it's just like it's just my natural instinct to want to help. Um, so that was my first instinct, right? Like what can I do to help? Um, and then having something positive to focus on has been really key for me. I mean, throughout my entire life, you know, ever since I was a kid, like it is a good coping strategy for me, right? Because we have two choices. We have the choice of, you know, feeling like we're a victim, feeling like, you know, the whole world is going to come to an end with what's yeah. happening. And that's not to minimize what's happening, right? What's happening feels big and you, you might be affected by it. Someone you know might be affected. I've said it before, two people in my mom's building um, have the coronavirus. My mom is 79. She lives in New York City. You know, so so I, I feel the stress. I think they said 11,000 people in my county um, are ex are expected to have the virus in the next few days. And I just spoke to our doctor and he said that, you know, it's going to get worse around here, right? Because it's traveling from the East Coast um, to the West Coast. And so we're, you know, we're in Texas. But anyway, my point is that, so the first response that I had was to help. How can I help? And that has, I think that you have felt that, that has come across like just naturally and powerfully um, through me and I never want to change that again. I have been in business, I, you know, I, I have a PhD in French literature and I was a teacher. I'm a teacher in my core, in my soul. And even though I'm a business owner now, right, I am a beach body coach. I've always been a teacher. And so that was my first inclination and my first reaction is how can I help? And it always is, how can I help? Okay, when this thing happened last week and, you know, uh, the gyms are closed now, I discovered that in our business, right, with Beachbody, people were flooding, like 15,000 people, you know, flooded to sign up for online memberships and I haven't talked about it. Like, I haven't said a word about it to you guys. And that's because I was so afraid, I think that was the word, I was so afraid of, hold on, it, look at that, it changes the light when I hold up the lemons. Um, so I'll just hold up the lemons. So I was so afraid of coming off as insensitive, hold on, it changes the lighting. Um, it, I was so afraid of coming off as insensitive by talking to you about what I have to offer and then I realized, and you know what, maybe, maybe that was the right thing, right? Maybe maybe i did a good thing i don't know um by not talking to you about like hey you know the coronavirus is real like this is happening i've got something to offer you i've got workouts and i have a business opportunity like it just didn't feel right you know and so i think that i have done well in my life by just following my instinct and following my gut and and just doing what feels right and it didn't feel right at the time okay so right now, most of us are quarantined. We should be home and we are sheltered in place. Most places that I know of, if not all, are closed. The gyms are closed. Restaurants are closed. You know, you're only allowed to go outside for a little bit, right? Just to get some exercise or if you have to go get groceries. But other than that, you are at home. A lot of personal trainers, um, you know, their livelihood. I mean, we're talking about people's livelihoods and I understand, like, 
like I see it. I'm an empath. I feel people when they're suffering. And so, um, I just I have a different view right now. I see that I am someone that has been around in this community for 13 years. If you scroll down my post to 2007, I have been here maybe a little freaking annoying at some points, right? That I'm just, you know, if you scroll back to my 2007 post, like I was constantly posting kind of like now. I can't help it, you guys. And this is the thing. I was telling my friends yesterday that... You know, I feel like, okay, the, the social media rules said that you should only post, you know, one time a day on Facebook because you might annoy people. But honestly, I'm just posting whatever feels right in my, in my, in my gut, in my soul. Like, if I want to post, I have value to offer. I have something to share with you, whether it's a meditation, whether it's, you know, like today I shared John Maxwell's uh, talk whether it's you know what it means to be social distancing whatever it is i'm just gonna post it because that's what i feel in my core i don't give a flying f about what the social media rules are right now because i am i am being that made me emotional i am being um you know just called to to lead and 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 to share and i don't care what the rules are so that said, I want you to know that my intentions are pure. And, you know, in, in, in the past week, when everyone's been scrambling for a solution, trying to figure out what to do in terms of the gym, I've been silent because I didn't want you to think that I was after your money, you know? Um, and because I am sensitive to the fact that people are losing their jobs. I understand that, you know, and I also understand that people do need a solution. And so um, some other friends and I were talking about, like my friend was saying that she doesn't have, I mean, I do consider Netflix necessary, right? But you don't need Netflix and Hulu and, you know, Amazon Prime or whatever all the th things are. So this is a time of sacrifice. And I do wholeheartedly believe that fitness and your health are are paramount they should come first you know you need to exercise i need to exercise for my mental health like if i weren't exercising and i didn't have um you know a workout to do and a schedule and a community like the community like i've had this community forever you guys i've been a coach for 12 13 12 and a half years and so you know here i am with this thing happening in the world and I already had my community. I already had my workouts. And so that I, all I've done is like I've leaned in. And so what I'm doing right now is, is simply upping my support. I'm asking myself, how can I be better? How can I provide my customers and my team and my community, whether, you know, I, I sell you something or not, like you are my community. So I'm asking myself, how can I provide more value how can i you know how can i bring you closer how can i how can i you know pull you towards me and our community so that you feel just more comfort in this time and so one of the things that i do is yes you know in my industry people don't like to say the word sell we share bullshit we do sell you are buying something for 160 bucks you are buying what we call a challenge pack and that's one year worth of workouts you get the supplements and you get me as your free coach i know that i am worth 160 dollars and then some you know so i i know that i have no doubt about what i'm worth and what you'd be paying for so yes absolutely i can offer you you know the free resources i have a pdf for you you know if you if you are out of a job i would i will gladly give you the free workouts you can do those free workouts but you're not that's it okay you're not gonna if you are unemployed you're not gonna be unemployed forever um but what i want to say is that with the nine free workouts like that's not a complete solution. That's something just to tie you over. And what I love and I'm passionate about Beachbody and I can't believe I didn't talk about it before because I was afraid is that we're, we are offering a complete solution, right? You're getting a whole workout system. Like I'm 45 years old. My fitness level is, look at my muscles. I don't need muscles. I don't care about my muscles, but you know, I'm 40, 45, I'm gonna be 46 this month. 
I'm in better shape today than I was in my 20s and my 30s. You know, I look older, like I don't like the elasticity that we're losing in our 40s and stuff, but you know, I love myself. But yes, we're offering a total solution. You know, we have a complete workout program. We have the community that I think so many people right now are like scrambling for. My community is there, it's, it's, it's set. And now it's just a matter of being in that community and then you would have me as your coach to mentor you and guide you and be basically like your personal cheerleader. And I am committed. I am committed and I'm upping my game. Um, so that's one of the things that I offer. And I did want to make this video because I wanted you to know what's available to you. And some of you guys have known me forever. Some of you are already in the Beachbody community because I see some of you. Um, and then some of you, you have no idea, you know, what I do and you just, I don't know why you follow me, but you do. And so I wanted to tell you, this is what I do. And if you've been on the sidelines and you've been like, you know what, like, maybe I should, maybe I should. I just want to tell you like, Hey, if you're not talking to anyone about this, like I want to be your person. Um, and then the second thing that I offer, uh, does have to do with income we were talking about this yesterday too, that right now it's not the time to say, oh, you can build your million dollar house and you can have the million dollar dreams and buy your dream car. Screw that. Right now, I know that for a lot of people, it's just about like, you need to buy the diapers, you need to buy the groceries, you need to replace some income because, you know, maybe your hours have been cut. Um, you know, or maybe your spouse lost, you know, his or her job, or maybe you've lost your jobs or, or job or jobs, right? Like, I mean, right now we're down to essential workers and I'll give you, did I say this already? So yeah, I think I did say it. So last week, normally on any given week, we have two, th two about 2000 people sign up for the, the beach body on demand, which is our, like our Netflix of fitness. And then, you know, last week we had 15,000 people sign up. So, you know, it's an opportunity in the sense that, that people are buying, right? That people are buying and we are servicing people. There's no shame in selling people something that they need. I need eggs. I need food. I, I, why should the egg people, the farms be ashamed that they're selling their eggs? Why should, you know, the supermarket be as afraid that they're selling their lemons? So why should I be ashamed? that I am providing a service, you know, and, and the service is fitness and health, but also um, the opportunity to earn an income as a Beachbody coach. And I have to give the disclaimer that, you know, Beachbody doesn't guarantee any level of um, success. It really is, you know, it really does depend on you. And I can tell you that I started in 2007 during our last Great Depression and, you know, I've been able to, to build a really substantial, you know, business that is heart led. Like I know that it's because, you know, because of the business that I've been able to build, that I have the mental space to offer these, these classes and these services for free, because when you're being chased by a bear, you know, um, and you know, when you just have to take care of your, your basic needs, there's very little room for creativity, you know? So I get that and I feel really fortunate. So anyway, hey Tara, um, that's all I wanted to share. Um, I really, really wanted to share from my heart. I've been, you know, putting off talking about what I do again out of fear, but I'm not gonna be fearful because I feel very, very certain um, about what it is that I have to offer about what it is that I do and what, you know, my, the company that I'm aligned with, like we are doing a wonderful, um, service, you know? And so it's, it's really up to us to, you know, to, to help people. We're in a position to help and we've been called to help. And I've always believed this because that's what has driven me all these years but now during this time of crisis, when we cannot lead, oh, I gotta go because we have a team call, um, you know, that I feel called to lead. Yeah, this is the time, greater than ever. Anyway, all right, guys, so if you, if, if you're a coach, I love you and know that, you know, that, that, that we're doing something good. If you're not a coach and you don't have a coach, and you wanna get in shape or you want to earn an income, then just reach out to me, we can talk. I am not here to push you 
to uh, drag you, to convince you, to beg you, you know, or like to pressure you. I'm really here to be of service. And if you are ready to push with me, if you are ready to, you know, to work and to get in shape and to get, uh, um, you know, control of these cookies and wine or whatever it is, you know, that you might be eating because of the stress, because that's what I did last week, but not anymore, I'm back at it. Um, then I'm here to help you, you guys. And if not, that's cool. Just, you know, keep, keep, keep being the community that we are on this page because I really think that we have something amazing happening. And I'm, I'm personally grateful for Facebook. All right, I have a team call. I gotta go. Bye, guys. Thank you.